We are outside GM Place, gentlemen. You guys actually never made it inside. Yeah. You were on tour throughout North America for a, over a month with the Motley Crue and the Scorpions. And apparently I show up to the show and uh, come to shoot Flash Bastard and apparently they're kicked off the tour. Explanation, please. Anybody. So there's about four specific incidents that, okay, about four specific incidents that, you know, contributed to our being kicked off the tour. The very first one was, uh, the very first day of the tour, uh, Dan told me that, spin that Spinal Tap was based on the Scorpions. Yeah. Dan. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. Told that. Anyway, so he tells me that, and I'm sitting in the catering section, we, this is the first show, we're in D.C., you know. Hi, everybody. Uh, first show, we're in D.C., and I go, I see this guy, and I know he's the singer from the Scorps, right? But I didn't know what it's, I didn't know, like, you know, what his, his name. name was. So I go, yeah, I go, yo, Rudy, hey, Rudolph, <laughs> when's the puppet show start? But now, his name was Klaus. <laughs> his name was Klaus, and rumor has it. A, a lot of Spawn Tap was based on the Scorpions in that they actually walked out. They went to see the film, yeah. and they walked out of the movie. In a huff. In a huff. Here I am. Right off the bat, you you already made friends with the Scorpions. Literally, your first day in the tour? Okay, yeah, all right. First day. I'm gonna say one thing about them now. I think Rudy's cool. Rudy's all right. Yeah. Rudy's a good guy. The band, actually, the other guys are very nice. The singer is a little bit crazy yeah. that he couldn't uh, get the uh, uh, job done in the right way. No, pan back, 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 back or, pan They're back and ready. just take a look, okay? You know, <laughs> this is rock and roll, you know? They're afraid of rock and roll. Lock up your sons. And daughters. And <laughs> lock up your sons big time, man. What the <laughs> anyway? But, you know, they open their set, they open their show with a song called Bad Boys Running Wild. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to write a song called Bad Boys Running Wild, question mark. OK? <laughs> Now you just to get bad boys running wild and take a pan at us and see what you think. Run Figure around? out yourself, Should Canada. Run around? Yeah, on the spot. Let's go run. Bad boys running wild. <laughs> Look at bad boys. Ah, <laughs> 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 we the real bad boys running wild, Klaus. <laughs> 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 Desperate part of town. <laughs> cool, I'm sure didn't mean to jump on, even though. But the, good. that's the bad. The good news is that it will be on uh, national television. Cross. Is there any damage, Romero? That's no. fine. Is it? That's okay. Yeah. And you guys are light. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're light, but we're not L I T E. <laughs> we're not real. We're light. Not okay, like light we've, bears. We've, light. we've been crapping, you guys. We're not a real rock and roll band. <laughs> if we were a real rock and roll band, there'd be damage to the top of the truck. Okay. <laughs> and that's how you tell. The we'll back. You put the, the scorpions camera. in the top of that truck. <laughs> they'd be floating around like fairies, you know. <laughs> woo, 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 <laughs> you know. Really get along with Matthias other uh, as well because uh, our drummer here Sean had a little moment with Matthias's wife or girlfriend really? on the tour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she caught me. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, do you have any, any, anything to say about the young, young man to your right? He's totally out of his mind. <laughs> <laughs> was that the attraction to Flash Faster? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That, that was the attraction. <laughs> Can you tell me about the story about how did, how did Nikki um, Six discover um, Flash uh, Faster? I saw them in a loft in Vancouver yeah. and fell in love with them. I thought they reminded me of MC5 or early Stooges. And uh, it's something that I wanted to have on my label. Yeah. Amara. Maricoma. 
basically, Nikki Six went to your rehearsal space. You guys played for him, and he signed you the next day. That's a pretty incredible story. Yeah, he made the decision to sign us after two songs, but the next day it all came into place. What did he that's, say? He that's called, amazing. He called you the next day, anyway. In your rehearsal space, it wasn't a show. I mean, he didn't even get the full deal. Oh, it was a show. Oh, we're always doing we, a show. Yeah. We don't rehearse. Life we don't a, like. We don't. We don't like. You know. We get in a rehearsal space with nobody there. We don't like sit there with our instruments and sit down in chairs like rock and roll must be it is true. We don't do that. We're always playing a gig. All the young people that were there were totally digging us. Yeah. To see, uh, you know, a lot of people who have like rigid ideas of what like rock music is. Yeah. Like didn't get us, and when people don't get something, they get offended. In Denver, we uh, played to 10,000 people, <laughs> and they threw shit at us because they didn't like us. I thought we we're gay and they, or idiots or whatever. Um, when we played in Idaho. Well, my daddy left home when I was three. Donald wore a miniskirt on stage. <laughs> we played a racetrack, right? Like in the middle of nowhere, there's like manure, there's a pig being roasted off for the... <laughs> We're getting booed. I'm going on in drag. I'm just a sweet transvestite. Yeah, I don't so give a f Right. Okay, we figured like immediately we're gonna get the same reaction that we did in Denver. But the lighting technician from Molly Crew had this really amazing quote. He goes, "You see, the people out there when they see you guys and you guys come out with your makeup and all, they think, wow, is this good or bad? But then they start to figure you guys are all idiots <laughs> and they don't like that, so they don't like you. But when you guys come out and your singers wearing a dress, they already know he's an idiot, <laughs> so they start to like you." Cheers. Up around the bend. Cheers, everybody. But we're sending this one out to anyone who's got a problem, anyone who's screwed up in life, anybody who's got the feeling they don't belong, okay? Because you're going up around the bend, too, as long as you try, just like Hanoi did and we did. You don't think we're a bunch of freaks? We are a bunch of freaks, and look who we are now. So take a message, okay? We're sending this one out to you. Take it seriously. 